Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to reveal to you finally my entryway makeover that I've been working on for weeks. I've had a lot of great help from friends and I may have had some mishaps along the way, but I had the best time putting this all together. There were some crafts that I was a little skeptical as to how they were going to look, turn out, or how they would even function in the space. But after I put everything together, I was really pleased and really happy with the results. And I hope that you enjoy what I've created. I will leave links below as to all the crafts that I put together. Some of them were, not, were on Facebook Live and some of them were on YouTube. And it's just a lot of crafts, a lot of fun, and a lot of entryway makeover. <laughs> so sit back and relax as I put everything in place for this big reveal. My entryway was filled with so much clutter that cleanup was definitely needed. I decoupaged some used books to add to a shelf in this entryway. This little sign will help me create several looks. I can switch out the letters with cute July 4th or Christmas messages. I used this burlap ribbon from Walmart like a runner on my entryway shelf. This small hanging shelf will be used to create a level and a visual vignette. I'll first place my books. With this cute little boxwood plant. My clothespin sign placed at an angle. And some decorative balls I crafted. If you'd like to see how I made these decorative balls, please comment below. For some height added to my entryway shelf, I created a boxwood topiary. I placed it on the opposite side of my shelf. I'm showing off a cute little heart ring that my grandson Alex gave me. To add to the French country garden look, I added a small angel. I chalk painted the angel to give it a weathered statue look. This next craft was one of the most important crafts I made. I wanted something cute but I wanted something functional for keys and mail. You can find tons of mail organizers, but I wanted something different and rustic. This old toolbox got a fresh makeover and I added a napkin holder and hooks to help with organizing things that usually get dumped into this area. Mail can now be sectioned and held in place. And a pen and pencil will always be handy. And my keys are so much easier to find now that they are separated. Goodbye clutter. This shelf is now functional and cute.
With this area completed, I focused on the large wall area above it. I created this rustic window. After chalk painting and distressing Dollar Tree frames, I glued them together to create this window. I wanted an antique mirror look, so I used looking glass paint for the effect. With all of these floral items from Dollar Tree, I crafted a sweet wreath. I simply glued the wreath into place. This clear command hook from Walmart will hold my window in place. With this half of my entryway done, it's already feeling fresh and clean with spring colors that pop. This umbrella stand isn't functional because things fall out of it and it's an eyesore. Check out my video where I turn this umbrella stand into something functional with a farmhouse twist. I needed a rug for this makeover and I crafted a Dollar Tree rug on Facebook Live. It was my first live feed and it was scary but it ended up being pretty fun. I will use this cotton rug from Walmart underneath my crafted rug for a layered look. This is so much more clean and inviting. My husband put up this wonderful coat rack on this wall, but we keep cluttering it up and you can never see the beauty of his work with all of these jackets and coats. I need something decorative above the coat rack, so I used an old sign sitting in a closet and gave it a facelift. The basket is my own creation with materials from Dollar Tree. I wanted lots of flowers in my entryway, so I found different ways to incorporate them in this makeover. This sign reflects what I feel every day. We should look around us and find that beauty in our everyday lives. I thrifted this pretty sun hat. I'm hoping with the decorative pieces we'll be less likely to pile up our coats. If you remember me mentioning this beautiful piece from a previous video, I love it but it's too bulky for this small entryway. But this bench will stay. I'll hang this lantern on the wall. I'm taking a yellowed and dirty candle and chalk painting it an off-white. I apply two coats. If you do this method, be sure you don't ever light that candle. Place the candle in the center. I want floral and greenery in my lantern, so I used what I have and I cut each branch off of these white and pink blossoms from Dollar Tree. I used boxwood for my greenery and it was already in pieces because I use these all the time in my decorating for small floral arranging. I started with the boxwood just placing them around the base of the candle. I could tell I needed some more height to the candle, so I used this Dollar Tree ribbon roll because it's already decorative if it shows.
Then I started adding the pink blossoms and white blossoms, just alternating and balancing the color. I can switch out this spring and summer floral with other seasonal floral, and I can't wait to be able to do that. I created a rooster banner on Facebook Live. I used materials from Dollar Tree and Walmart and decoupaged a bright napkin onto a banner sign. The end result is rustic charm with a modern pop of color. In this next craft, I'm using craft ribbon from Walmart that I purchased this past Christmas. These chalkboard stickers and these wooden circles. I cut my ribbon the length I needed and painted the wooden circles in off-white chalk paint. I was going to layer these circles onto some black cardboard tags, but in my rush to get this done, I completely forgot. Or as my dad always says, I plum forgot. I have a pair of these curtain rod holders, so I'm using one in this project. It's a thrifted item I picked up a couple of years ago, and I thought it would add a touch of French country. I paint a couple of coats of off-white chalk paint. I measure to see exactly where my circles can be placed. These chalkboard stickers give another layer of the farmhouse look, and they're super easy to use. I use my chalk marker to write what I need, and I can always wipe it off to write something else. Now I'll simply hot glue the ribbon to the back of my decorative piece. This next craft is my favorite because my BFF helped me out and we had a blast. We laughed, made mistakes, and created super fun memories. She painted the frame to an outdated picture and I created some farmhouse charm for the focal point. I highly suggest camping and crafting. It's crazy, but so much fun. And friends always make everything better. I thrifted this basket and it's already the color and the distressed finish that I want. I'm just going to add some floral to tie it in with my other projects. I'll attach these sprigs with jute cord and glue them in place.
I trimmed off the branches that were showing at the bottom and used a tiny piece of cord to cover what was left. Now I'll put this all together. The lantern will hang from this thrifted metal bracket. I love how this rooster banner brings a fresh pop of bright color. My ribbon art will finish up this wall. Remember the bench in my entryway? I already have these buffalo check cushions, so I reuse them in this area. And my basket will sit here and decoratively hold things that I need at the door. If you noticed, I used a ribbon theme for the projects on this wall. And I love how the buffalo check brightened up what had become a sad little bench filled with clutter. Okay guys, thanks so much for stopping by. I certainly hope you enjoyed this video and this whole makeover. And I hope that I inspired you to clear up, clean up, declutter, organize, beautify, and enjoy your entryway spaces. I know I'm going to definitely enjoy my space so much more now. And because I've made it so cute, I promise myself that I will not make it crazy or <laughs> cluttered again. If you would, please leave me a like. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of every upcoming video that I have. I do have a tips and tricks for crafting video coming out next week and I will also be releasing soon my closet makeover reveal. But until next time, bye guys, stay safe and have a great day.